Hello guys and welcome to episode 45 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. So this time around, it's an intro again. I'm really sorry about last week. I thought I'll try to make a video that was exactly 10 minutes long since that was what the title has been all year around. Felt weird. Felt like I was missing out on the intro and also after the video, the no bonus tip felt empty in the chat as well in the premiere. So apologies for that. It won't happen again. I'm going to make sure that I have intros and outros. Maybe I should actually say, first of all, that if you want to just come and watch the modeling, go to this timestamp and that should uh, help you out. First of all, I've been playing around a lot in Unity 2020 with uh, specifically with the new rigging package that's still in preview. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to come out with some tutorials about that one. I've got my old uh, trusted Dominator guy, the low poly robot guy with a minigun, and the rigging is working really, really well, I think. So I've got a rig for his uh, torso and his head to look at where he's aiming, and I've also got a rig for the weapon, uh, so he holds the arms with IK onto uh, the two mounts on the weapon, and then he can run around and shoot that thing like crazy. And I've also implemented recoil for that rig. I'm really excited about creating some uh, videos about that one. Stay tuned and uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see those tutorials, and give me a shout in the comment as well. Ludum Dare results are in and I feel terrible because uh, usually you have to rate games. I've been so busy the past couple of weeks with the RTS game development and also with my family and making these videos. So I feel really guilty. I didn't actually play any of the Ludum Dare games and uh, I didn't even rate any. So I feel terrible about that. I haven't actually even been to my Ludum Dare page since the last time. So I'm going to share it with you now to see. I have no idea how I placed. Next time I'll better myself. Ooh, I'm a bit nervous now. Ooh, overall 20th. Graphics, I'm number four in graphics. That is wow. I'm super happy about that one. Overall 20 as well. I think this is my best result so far. This is spectacular. I'm super happy about those. Uh, usually I don't really place that well. Thank you so much. And I feel terrible. Why didn't I rate games and play them? Ah, I feel, I feel horrible now. All right, so. Now it's time to do some modeling and this time around I'm gonna do a battle spaceship and I was playing EVE Online a little while back and one of my favorite battleships of all time in EVE Online has always been Megatron. Megatron, Megatron, don't know how you say it. It's got a really distinct look, it's got, uh, it's split in the middle, uh, like a, a slot in the middle and it's got two big things going forward with big things arcing forward. Makes absolutely no sense but that's what I'm gonna make. I'll have some Yule Must first. If you haven't tried Swedish Yule Must, you should try that. I'm uh, rocking the light version here, uh, so I don't get uh, too chubby. My wife's from England and we actually brought some of this Yule Must over to her brother a few years ago, quite a few years ago. We were flying a cheap airline that you have to pay a lot for excess luggage. And we were actually over the limit, but my wife wanted to bring this uh, Yule Must to her brother. And we had uh, much bigger bottles, so like two liter bottles, two of those. So that weighs about four kilograms. We had to pay excess luggage because I said, just get rid of it. We won't bring it. But we had to pay like a hundred dollars in uh, excess luggage fees. And then we brought it to England and her brother tasted it and he went, oh, I don't really fancy that too much. Anyway, Megatron lookalike. Here we go. Ready, steady, go. And we're off. And I'll go into edit mode here and we have to do auto mirror, tab into edit mode, A, scale it up, three interface select, move it in, E to extrude that on, A, scale Y, I have to make it a little bit longer, this is going to be the back. So now I'm going to E to extrude and create these really uh, famous front thing, whatever they are, prongs, control R, loop cut, move that on forward, rotate X, um, control R, let's bring this whole thing down, I think it's got really thickness to it here. Scale Z, maybe like that. Let's bring this down even further. Control R, loop cut again. Bring that one back. I think this is roughly the shape of the Megatron, but we can flatten this out. Control select to there, bring that out. Control select to there, bring that in. And here now we have to do it's got some, like, I don't know if it, it's probably not air intakes <laughs> to extrude, but there's some big uh, indentations here. And then control R, bring that down. And then I'm gonna do I to inset, Alt E to extrude long face normals, scale X, put some features here as well. So again, it's gonna be a look alike, nothing exactly. Uh, it's gonna, not going to be an exact replica if this was what you came for. <laughs> I to inset, Alt S, rotate maybe Y, move it in and down. 
here I'll do like a, a wing section. Scale Z. Scale it down. Maybe to there. So as long as it looks a little bit like a battleship, I'll be alright. Control R, loop cut. Here I'll do as well some feature. Maybe like that. Item set. Alt S to scale that one out. P to extrude S to scale. Move that one down. And definitely it's got some things sticking out here. Maybe I'll select those. Item set. Alt S to scale it. E to extrude. S to scale Z. Down to there. And then here we have to do something about the back here as well. E to extrude. S to scale. And maybe move this out and up. Yeah, up. And here a bridge. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, <laughs> E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. And that's the bridge thingy. Front view, G. And you can still uh, control R, maybe loop cut that one down a bit. Control R, loop cut. Some more features, shift select those, I to inset, E to extrude maybe. I don't know, really know what it looks like here, so. E to extrude S to scale. Okay, that should do. And here we'll have to have some feature in here as well. E to extrude S to scale. And then we'll bring this in. You don't want, won't really see this, I guess. Uh, how am I doing? 636 E to, I to inset E to extrude. That should be all right. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, control plus this first of all. Scale this down. I need the bridge to be a little bit smaller. You can also do... No, nope, I liked it the way before. You can do proportional editing. O. Oh. And then uh, if you want to change the shape altogether, scale this one up even further maybe. Uh, S to scale it. Bring it down. So it's not too late. A to select everything. Scale Y. Make it longer. And scale Z, make it higher. Maybe like this. Difficult to know. That should do it. I'm going to subdivide it, I think, because uh, the Megatron is really smooth. So I'm going to do control 2. And then this looks terrible. So I have to go here and then switch this one to screen. That doesn't fix it. A, select everything, right click and do shade smooth. So now it's looking a little bit more like the Megatron. But we have to sharpen up a lot of these edges. So. I'm going to do control R to loop cut a few times here. You can also crease edges. Control R, loop cut that one. And that should do. This is not looking so good, so I'll shift alt select that one. Off with the proportional, scale this down first of all. Control R, loop cut here to make this sharper. Control R, Control R, that's it. And uh, Control R here, Control R. Uh, if you're doing this, you can also allow, uh, play around with Shift E to make things sharp. So if I select these, Shift E will crease these as well. So maybe I'll do this. And try to do shift E to crease those out a bit. But in here I want to do control R, I think, to loop cut that one. Control R, loop cut. And here we have to fix it. I've got four minutes. I have to <laughs> this blob here I have to fix. Control R. And then control R to loop cut here. Control R. And control R. Control R. <laughs> a lot of loop cuts. Control R. Control R. So that's a bit better, I guess. Still a bit blobby looking, but I E to extrude. S to scale it down. And control R. Control R there. Scale that one down. I don't really know what it looks like in the back here. But I know it's uh, quite blobby looking, the whole spaceship. Control R, so we'll just keep loop button this thing. Control R, that squares these up. That's <clears throat> Losing my voice again. <laughs> I always do that for these challenges. So I'm doing 326. I to inset, 
E to extrude. Okay, that's looking really round. So let's square this up. Control R. Sometimes it's alright, I guess. Control R. Uh, here, I can probably maybe bevel these. So Alt Z, so I see. I have to be really picky here to try to get the right edges. And that is easier said than done. So, shift select, and one more. There. Maybe this will work. I don't know. <laughs> Control, uh, shift E, I'll try first of all to sharpen it. Yeah, that worked. So, that's not adding a loop cut here. I'll just sharpen it with the. Let's see. I'll try to do Control B as well to see. That squares it up a lot more, but maybe too much. So, Control Z out of that. Let's just keep that one a bit uh, rounded. Control R, a loop cut. Can I do that in there? Yeah. Control R. A lot of holding edges here to loop cut things. Maybe we'll do some feature here. I'll control R. <laughs> That's my new favorite now. Control R. E to extrude. And it doesn't have this thing, I'm pretty sure, but this one will have this thing. Whatever this is. Control R. It's just to add some features to it, like a battle type of ship. Battle type of ship? What does that mean? GG E to extrude. Okay, that doesn't work. I to inset E to extrude. That looks terrible. So I I to inset and B to get the boundary off. E to extrude. Okay, should I have that? Yeah, I can have it. It looks a bit strange, but that's okay. I have a little time. Uh, it's got some sort of engines here. So E to extrude. E to extrude. This is going to be a, like a blob. <laughs> it's not a Megatron, it's a Blobathron. I have no idea what I'm doing now. S to scale that one down. It's uh, definitely too much of a blob. New favorite word. I to inset. E to extrude. That looks terrible. Control Z out of that. I to inset. E to extrude. Okay, maybe like that. And I've got 51 seconds. So I'm not going to colorize this one. I'm just going to keep it like this. Maybe we can add some features here at least. So I'll do uh, uh, I to inset, Alt S to extrude that on, Control R, loop cut. And Alt S to extrude that on even more, Control R, loop cut there. Okay, that looks a bit like a doorbell. So let's make that smaller. Control R. I'll just sharpen things up now. I have no time. 20 seconds to go. I'll just control R a lot. <laughs> uh, that's no good. Control R. No. Oh, it's lagging a bit now. Control R. Ah, control R. Control R. And. <laughs> control. Control R. Ah, control R. Desperation. Scale. That's it. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. Dismiss. If this looks like a Megatron or not, I'll let you decide. I don't even want to look at a reference image now, because I think it's too far off. <laughs> so I don't know what I would have done different. Maybe it doesn't look... It, lo it looks like a blob still, I know that. But it's got the rough shape of it. You could uh, carry on. If you if you see this as a bit of a, a tutorial or something, which it isn't, it's just me trying to model something. <laughs> but if you do look at it, maybe you can get some inspiration at least. From a distance, it looks a little bit better, like this. How about that? And then some binoculars, and then you'll get into there. That looks pretty good as well. The UV technique that I usually use doesn't really work on these ships, because uh, if I were to try to colorize in here, for example, G, it sort of works, but you don't really know where the edge is going to go. So I'd probably colorize this differently. And uh, this is probably going to be a high poly mesh. Without the subdivider, this is what it looks like. But then I also have to switch off so it doesn't shade. So it shaves flat again. So this is what the uh, the actual model is that I created. But then when you enable uh, this one, it's a level two subdivider. And then I have to right click here and do shade smooth for it to get that smooth look. So I'm not going to put any materials on it or anything like that now. All right, I have to compare it to the original, I guess. So let's bring a Megatron up. Let's bring a browser up. My site, Megatron images. 
So this looks very different, of course. That's uh, not the real one, but here we go. That's not the real one either. Can I get a real one? Here's a good one. So, of course, it's got a lot more sharp edges, less blobby looking than my one. So, you'd have to put a lot more detail in to make it look like the real deal, a lot more sharpness, and... Uh, a lot more pointy down here, less blobby. I don't even know why. Should, should I even put this out on the internet? I might get uh, bullied. It's a bit of an interpretation of something that has a, the rough shape of a Megatron, but it's not the same. So I used a lot of uh, Control R to do loop cuts like this. But the tip this week is going to do be Shift E actually for the sharp edges. So if I select a few of these and then I do Shift E, you can crease these edges like this. I'll select this, Shift E, crease. So you could refine this quite a bit by creasing a lot of the other shift E, crease. Shift E, crease that one. And here you'd probably want to crease these, shift E. Okay, that's not the right one. I'll do Alt, shift select that one, shift E. Crease that one to make it sharp. Shift E. So instead of adding a lot of looped cuts, you can add these creases um, to it as well. Here as well, maybe we'll do it here. Control, Shift, Select, Shift, E. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Shift, E, I said. There we go. So, crease. So, that's gonna be it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this episode as well, and come back next Thursday for another episode of the 10 Minute Modeling Challenge. Hit the like button if you liked the video, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next Thursday for another 10 Minute Modeling Challenge. Until next time, bye for now.